Hey, this is Matt from HOP Sales and Service and Power Eagle Cleaning Systems. And today we're doing a video here from the parts room. Uh, we're gonna talk about something that there's a lot of confusion and I get questions almost daily about this. Um, people have a hard time understanding, but I think it's just because there's no information out there that kind of lays everything out. So today we're gonna be talking about pressure washer spray nozzles. So here we got a bunch of nozzles picked out from the parts room. And you'll notice, obviously, there's different colors of nozzles. There's different types of nozzles. You get the threaded type. You get the quick connect type. Um, and right off the bat, people are like, oh, yeah, I need the, my, my pressure washer takes the yellow nozzles. Or I like the yellow nozzles. But there's a little bit more information to know to make sure you get the right one. So let's take two random nozzles. Now, these are all different nozzles. They look the same at first but they are totally different. They're actually on opposite sides of the spectrum. So let's look. Well, first, let's look at the general appearance. You can notice right off the bat, the size of the hole is different, and that's the key. So while they're both yellow, they have different size holes. So this one, 15030. This one, 15060. So let's break down the difference there. So here we have the 15030 and the 15060 written out. And here's how you decipher that code. So first of all, we've got 15 on each. That indicates that we've got a 15 degree spray pattern. So this is what the spray pattern. So we've got 15, but you can also get 25, which is gonna be a little bit wider, uh, 40, which is a little bit wider, but you can also get zero, which is like a straight jet like that. So these, these nozzles here, the yellow ones, are 15 degree. The second piece of information that's important is the 060 or the 030. What that means is that's how big the actual hole in the nozzle is. We call that the orifice size. So on this unit right here, on this nozzle, we've got a number six nozzle. On this one, we've got a number three. Obviously the smaller the nozzle, hole the smaller the number so let's go through a couple of other nozzles and check out what they are so this is a white one this one four zero oh three oh so this is a 40 degree that's indicated by white so white means 40 degree oh three oh so this is a number three nozzle with a 40 degree pattern red one red means zero degree so it's like a jet straight jet stream here, zero degree, so it's zero, zero, four, O. Oh. That means that it's a number four orifice. Here's a couple threaded type nozzles. Now this is a, a fairly large orifice in that nozzle. These ones are a little tough to read. Right there on the bottom, 1520. That means that this is a 15 degree number 20 nozzle. So again, the bigger that number, the bigger the hole at the end of the nozzle. This one right here, 40045. So it's a 40 degree spray pattern, number 4.5 orifice. So at this point, you're probably saying, well, how do I make sure that I get the right spray nozzle for my machine? Well, there's two things you need to know. The first is you need to know the pressure of your of your pressure washer. Usually that's rated, it's usually tagged on the machine's uh, you know identification tag. The second piece of information you need to know is the gallon per minute volume. So these two pieces of information are gonna tell us exactly which spray nozzle orifice size we need to get to make sure that your pressure washer runs correctly. And in order to make sure that we know that, we have a chart. So pressure washer nozzle charts are out there. You can find them on the internet and we have them here, but let's just say your pressure washer is um, a 3000 PSI four gallon per minute machine, right? So we find 3000 PSI here, and then we go down till we find four gallons per minute, you know, 3.9, call it four. And then we go across 4.5. So if you have a 3000 PSI machine with four gallons a minute, you need a number 4.5 spray nozzle for your pressure washer. 
you can get a 4.5 nozzle in yellow, in green, in white, or in red, or if you don't want the color types, you can get a 4.5 nozzle with a threaded style. Um, you can get them either way, as long as it's going to be a 4.5 nozzle, it's going to work properly and it's going to give you the correct gallon per minute flow at the correct pressure. So a couple of other important things to know about this, the pressure washer nozzles is if you've got the wrong size pressure washer nozzle, let's say for example you did have that 3000 psi pressure washer, 4 gallons per minute, so that means that you take a number 4.5 nozzle. If you got a number 3.5 or a 3.0 nozzle and you're using that pressure washer with that improper nozzle, what's going to happen is your pump and your motor are going to have to work harder because they're trying to force the proper amount of water flow through that nozzle and the nozzle's too small. So what's going to happen? Well, if you have an electric motor pressure washer, the motor is going to overheat. It's going to draw too much current going to draw more than the proper amount of amperage and it's going to pop breakers or maybe uh, overheat your motor. Uh, if you've got a gas engine pressure washer, it's maybe more forgiving, but you know, at the very least, you're just not going to be running at the correct gallon per minute flow and pressure. The machine's not going to be running properly. So uh, that's why it's important to get the right nozzle. And if you have any questions about any of this sort of thing, you can always give us a call to talk about it, or you can go online and look up a pressure washer nozzle chart and that'll get you all the information you need.